Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back, it's Jordan here. Today we're going to be doing a few different things. We're going to unbox this awesome box full of Lego pieces. Recently the wife and I decided to place a massive Lego pick-a-brick order. And this is the first half of it. It's actually interesting the way that pick-a-brick works now. Uh, there's two different categories of pieces. There's best sellers and there's standard. We placed an order valued at about $1,000 and... The best sellers from that order arrived pretty quickly. So we're going to have a look at what's inside here. It fuels the Lego City, and it also fuels two different custom projects that we're going to be working on. Well, they're not really custom, but they're rebrickable models, which we're really excited about. One's for the City, and one is for the Lego Star Wars shelf. So that's pretty hyped. Got a bunch of other stuff that we got to do as well today, uh, including unboxing a bunch of other stuff. There's some fan mail. There's also a bunch of stuff from the Amazon registry, so thank you so much. Once again, we're overwhelmed from the level of support. It is incredible. And there is an embargo that is today as well, which is the Harry Potter Advent Calendar. It's been revealed for quite some time. I don't plan on doing anything with it until December, but I'll show you that real quick as well. So over here we have another big stack of boxes. Thank you so much, everybody. That's for the children. Thank you. Our children appreciate it. Very cool. Let's take a look at this fan mail stack right here. This first one here is from Vicky. Thank you so much, Vicky. Wham! Oh, cool, look at that. It's a minifig pack. I wonder who we're gonna get. We're gonna find out here right away. Oh, we got some pictures too. And this is of uh, Vicky's Lego collection, I assume. Oh, there's a letter in here. I knew there was something missing. Uh, we love to play with Lego and enjoy watching your YouTube channel. We wanted to send you some photos of our Lego collection that they've built over the last year. And we bought you a mystery Lego minifigure pack to open, uh, shipped from Pennsylvania. Very cool. Daniel, Mark, and oh, they're twin brothers. Well, there you, you go. Look at that. Let's have a look at the twins' uh, Lego collection. These are like some classic photos, but look at that. There's an overview of it. Oh, it's upside down. Some street, some Lego City stuff going on there. Classic photo style. I like that. I like the classic printed photos. We got some beach action going there, some park action, a little uh, fire brigade or fire station, police station there. Got some knights. Yes, good. Nice. Well, there we go. Some Lego City photos. Good job, guys. Keep up the collection. And I uh, am glad to hear that there's some young twins out there collecting Legos together. Sounds like an absolute blast. Thank you once again, Mark and Daniel. I like your dinosaur there too. <laughs> Very cool. All right, well, let's see what uh, mystery minifigure we got going on here, hey? So this is from uh, series 22, and it looks like it is, oh, the bicycle guy. Very cool. It's not bicycle, but it's like the Paralympics minifig. Very cool, look at that. He comes with like the wheelchair, also the gold medal, the helmet. Pretty awesome looking minifigure, thanks guys. Next up we have one here from Natalie. Thank you so much, Natalie. Holy smokes, talk about minifigs. Wow, look at this. There are just an abundant amount of minifigures in here. Whoa, series seven? Well, thank you so much once again, Natalie, Mark, and Daniel for all of the really cool minifigures. Like, look at this guy. He's got his gold medal, representation of the Paralympics, which is really cool. And we've got the bunny rabbit. This guy looks like he's George the Jungle with his rip shredded abs, his like tooth necklace there, and also a monkey. And then look at this. It's a British police officer with his bobby and his billy club. Yeah, a scuba diver, a really cool ninja, an artist. This guy looks like he's a rapper or something. Like, look at that swag. That is intense. That is the most swag I've seen in any minifigure. Never even knew that existed. Then we also have an alien, a fairy, and a zombie. So some really cool minifigures here today from this fan mail haul. Thank you. We're going to put those right on this wall right away. So I know this has been on the LEGO website for quite some time, but I got it today, and this is the embargo date. Of course, we're going to be saving the LEGO Harry Potter advent calendar for 2022 for the holiday season. That just makes sense. That's a cool looking Tonks there. We got some Harry Potter figs, and look at that. We've got the Quidditch rings. Pretty cool looking box art there. I think it looks pretty flashy. On this side here, you can see what the interior packaging looks like. And we've got some cool stuff on the bottom here, such as like the night bus. Looks like there's Snape. 
the Whomping Willow mini builds. Oh, there's the Burrow as well, and this can just flip open just like that there. Apparently there is a game included, so you can play a game on this. That's different, that's something new that we've never really seen before with Advent calendars, I believe. So that's pretty cool, but that's the Advent calendar that's uh, officially on the LEGO website. And we'll be doing something with this in the month of December. All right, I'm gonna quickly open up all of these Amazon registry items. Thank you so much for all the support. The twins appreciate it. I honestly didn't think this day would ever come. We're getting diapers and fan mail. The kids go through so many diapers. Thank you, it's crazy. Also, we got this here and that's all from Mitzi. Thank you so much. From Donna, we got this really cool like stroller organizer so you can like put like bottles and stuff on your stroller. It straps right on there. Also, we're gonna keep our kids safe. So thank you so much, Donna. And Gail, thank you so much for the gift card. That is gonna come in handy. We're gonna buy some formula or some diapers. We appreciate it, that's awesome. Looks like Joel has hooked up some awesome clothes for six to nine months. So the twins are gonna be wearing these when they're six to nine months old. Oh, that's nice. I like that. Beauty, thank you so much for the three outfits. Look at these two, they actually came wrapped. A lot of the time the bag just gets like rolling in there with the stuff. But this is from Peter, but it's from Purple Cat uh, because Purple Cat couldn't uh, get it to, to work on Amazon.ca because she's from the Netherlands. So look at that, it's nicely wrapped. Hey, and look at that. The bag's even purple for Purple Cat, perfect. Oh my gosh, this is the cutest toy ever. <laughs> it's the Fisher Price Otter toy. <laughs> He's too tired to to pay attention. Oh, this is awesome. Yeah, it vibrates, lights it's up. As big as he is. <laughs> that's awesome. Oh, it moves. It's awesome. That's so cool. Does it move? Oh yeah, it yeah. breathes. Whoa. That's cool. That's super neat. Memberino Elizabeth says you can't have too many of these. Remember, if you outgrow before you open the box, you can exchange for size. Oh, I never knew that. I should probably stop opening boxes. <laughs> there we go, more diapers. All right, so thank you everybody for the uh, continued support. It's honestly like incredible, like, wow. I never expected to be getting that type of stuff. And we made the registry, you know, like a week before the kids were born and whew, crazy. And look at all the minifigs too, awesome. Okay, so this is our massive Wiga order. Mm-hmm. Here we go, everybody. Let's do it. Let's do it. Check it out. <laughs> I finally did something I've been wanting to do for quite some time. And that is order a mass amount of 16 by 16 plates. Is that really all that's in here? <laughs> no, there's more than that, just that. But there is a lot of these 16 by 16 plates. Like, we're talking a mountain of 16 by 16. Now, why do I need these? Well, these are gonna go toward creating the mills plates that we need for the amusement park. Now, I know this isn't the cheapest option. These cost $3.40 each. Whew. But they're the easiest option. I know you can get four by four plate, four by six plate, stuff like that from BrickLink for cheaper but you don't need as much underlying brick when you're making mills plates using these. Also, you don't need to spend as much time building them and it just goes a lot faster. Now, I've been doing a lot of dark gray stuff, but I decided to get light gray for these ones here. How many are there in this box? I don't even remember. There's 170 of them. Is that how many I ordered or is there more on the way? That seems weird because it's an odd number. I'll have to double check with my uh, actual order. But yeah, there's 170 in here. Uh, so that can obviously make a huge amount of mills plates. Now there's a bunch of other random pieces in here. Check it out. We've got a lot of miscellaneous black and dark gray pieces being two by four tiles, plates, everything like that. Now these two by four plates are gonna go, sorry, tiles are gonna go toward creating our roads because we needed more of those. Looks like we got a little gift with purchase here as well. This is the Pirate and Treasure VIP add-on pack. So that's pretty cool. Now all of these miscellaneous pieces and a bunch of other ones that are coming in because there are standard pieces that aren't our, what are they, top picks or whatever, are gonna go toward these two projects. The first project is creating a massive rebrickable model of this here, and that one is known as 
the Friends Street Modular. It looks really cool. It actually takes the Main Street building set and turns it into a wicked cool modular building that is one and a half base plates, I believe, and it's actually a corner build. It uses 2,329 pieces, so obviously you need to add a lot more pieces because this set here has 1,682 pieces. So we've been ordering all of the additional pieces to create that rebrickable model. Now we've also been ordering a bunch of other pieces and picking a bunch of pieces. By the way, these are all the ones that we had in our inventory, so we didn't have to order all of the additional pieces. So that was convenient. Good thing our parts are sorted. But we have been planning on building this wicked cool Darth Vader rebrickable model as well. And that one is done by Albo Lego. Of course, it uses the Darth Vader helmet and it's known as the Darth Vader mega figure and it fits the official Lego helmet. But it essentially takes the Darth Vader helmet and puts it onto a large oversized minifigure of Darth Vader. And it's very similar to the Harry Potter and Hermione minifigures that I've wanted Lego to you know, expand their lineup on. I wanted them to do superheroes. I wanted them to do Darth Vader and stuff like that. But Albo Lego has some really cool ones included in that is Darth Vader. So we plan on building this wicked cool rebrickable model. Yeah, so I'm adding a couple more projects to our project list. Now we got to build the uh, Friends modular building. We're going to place that somewhere near the beach. Good thing we rendered the Lego city and have a bunch of open space for that there. We've got to get uh, Mills plating our amusement park and all of the other portions of the Lego city. And we've got to build the roads over there. We've got to build Darth Vader. We've got to do so much stuff. It's absolutely insane. Glad that I unboxed this stuff though. Sort of clean it up here and get it sorted. And uh, then we can start working on some of these other projects. Gonna be heading to the Lego store here right away. We're gonna grab some base plates and road plates so that we can continue road plating our uh, city. Uh, today, which is Tuesday, is my members meeting. So I'll be building some road plates here and then we'll continue progressing with the Lego city. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Thank you so much for all of the fan mail through the Amazon registry and just to the PO box there, we appreciate it. And look at this, everybody. We're getting ready to do some wicked cool stuff. Hope you enjoyed it. Remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned. Farewell.